With the TT platform, we can trade a variety of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin on multiple crypto exchanges. In addition, we also have access to crypto futures markets, which provide us the opportunity to hedge trades in spot currencies. In this video, we'll show you how to trade cryptocurrencies on TT, including how different crypto markets display on TT, how to configure MD Trader for crypto trading, and using the assets widget to view wallet balances. Here, we have a workspace configured to trade cryptocurrencies and crypto futures across multiple exchanges. We have a market grid populated with the various spot cryptocurrencies, as well as cryptocurrency future contracts on CoinFlex, BitMEX, ICE, and CME. We can use the market grid to both view market data as well as place orders. We also have a few MD Trader widgets displaying the market depth for their respective instruments, and which allow single-click order entry. In addition, we have time and sales widgets displaying trades in each of these markets, charts widgets displaying analytics, and our order book, positions, and assets widgets, which we can use to monitor our working orders, positions, and asset balances. TT's Market Grid, MD Trader, and Charts widget display the high, low, and volume for a given instrument. For crypto futures on exchanges like CME and ICE that have defined sessions and settlement prices, this data is for the current session. For crypto exchanges that trade for 24 hours, the high, low, and volume are calculated on a rolling basis and use the most recent 24 hours of data. Daily graphs and daily PLs reset each day at midnight UTC, and the settlement field in Market Grid provides the midnight UTC price. Quantities are also displayed a few different ways across instruments and exchanges. On CME and ICE, crypto futures are traded in traditional whole numbers of contracts. On BitMEX, contracts are also displayed in whole number integers. However, for BitMEX inverse contracts, the market quantity represents the notional value of the orders at each price. Then, for spot currencies and other instruments, we see fractional quantities. When the full quantity is truncated, a plus sign is shown after the last displayed decimal to indicate additional quantity. The decimal places are set in the Preferences menu in our workspace using the Quantity Display Decimal Places setting. To place an order on any of these exchanges, we can click on the Bid Quantity, Bid, Ask, Ask Quantity, or the position cells in the market grid to launch an order ticket, which is then seeded with the price or quantity that we click. Note that even though the quantity is truncated, our order ticket is seeded with the full quantity. When configuring the order, the order types and time and force settings supported by the exchange are available in the drop-down menus. After the order is submitted, it's displayed in our order book and audit trail. Any full or partial fills are displayed in the fills widget. In addition to the quantity and price, we can enter a notional trade value when submitting an order for Coinbase and CoinFlex instruments. The notional field in the order ticket shows the value of the quoting asset required to buy a certain quantity of the first of the asset pair. The notional value includes any fees for trading the asset pair. As we change the notional value of the quoting asset, the quantity of the crypto asset changes automatically. As we change the price, the notional value updates automatically, but the quantity of the crypto asset does not update. If you use the notional value to populate the order ticket, the order still submits in terms of the quantity of contracts for that instrument. When submitting orders for BitMEX inverse contracts, order quantities are entered and sent to the exchange in notional value where one contract equals one US dollar. We can see that the order ticket for BitMEX, as well as CME crypto futures instruments, allows no separate notional quantity field. We can also view market data and submit orders in MD Trader, which is the industry leading interface that provides single click order entry for an instrument while displaying market depth against a static vertical price axis. We have a Bitcoin contract on CoinFlex, which ticks in $1 intervals. We also see the inverse contract on BitMEX, which ticks in 50 cent intervals, as well as Bitcoin on Coinbase, which ticks in 1 cent intervals. We can easily see that there may not be orders at every price level for the instrument, and the granularity of the price increments may make it impractical to use. We can use price consolidation to configure our MD traders to normalize the price display to tick in $1 increments. We'll right-click MD Trader for the inverse contract on BitMEX and select the Price Increment Per Row setting. We'll set the price increment to 2, which consolidates the 50 cent price levels to $1. Next, We'll set the price increments for the Bitcoin spot currency contract on Coinbase to 100. Now, with our price displays normalized, we can center each of our ladders by pressing the space bar and can now view relative price movement. MD Trader lets us easily configure and enter an order with a single click in the bids or ask column at the corresponding price level. 
we can use a default order quantity, quickly modify the quantity, or click our net position to seed the order quantity, which is useful if we want to quickly flatten our position. As we can see, the display of our position is truncated. Again, when we click the abbreviated value, the full value is seeded in the order quantity field. To keep track of our spot crypto assets, we can view our wallet balances on CoinFlex and Coinbase using the Assets widget. This allows us to see our total asset balance on each exchange, as well as the available balance, which subtracts any quantity of the asset that is tied up in working orders. We track positions in daily PL for crypto spot and futures contracts using the Positions widget. For crypto exchanges, the widget shows you your daily PL based on the midnight UTC settlement price. PL for crypto futures on derivatives exchanges like CME and ICE show daily PL based on the exchange's daily reset times. As you can see, the TT platform allows us to trade various cryptocurrency spot and derivatives instruments across multiple exchanges, all from a single screen. Crypto traders can use the same advanced tools used by the world's leading futures traders to view crypto market data, execute trades that fit their trading strategy, and track their positions in crypto assets. To learn more, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.